Hey guys, we're back with Robbie Pruitt from Antler King trying to ask all the hard questions. So um, I, this is one of those I bet you get asked all the time, Robbie, and it'll be an easy answer for you. So um, my food plot is way back in the timber. I can't get any equipment back there. Yep. I really want to have, you know, not a big plot, but just let's just say a little kill plot. Right. Um, what do I do when I can't get equipment back there? You know, I, I do it all the time. I still do it every year. I got a few of them spots myself. If you can pick, you go up to hardware, pick you up a steel rake, little two gallon pump up sprayer. Mm -hmm. You can go back there and kill that area off. The key thing to a mix that you're going to put in, which I'll mention here shortly, is you want good seed to soil contact. So when when you get out there, you spray that plot off, you wait your seven to 12 days, it starts dying off. Take your steel rake, rake all the debris off of it, sticks, leaves, pine needles, wherever you're at. Get good seed to soil contact and then get a good product like our no sweat which is an annual it does have one perennial clover in it or you can use our game changer clover which is a perennial you're getting about four years of growth both of them grow very well in a shaded poor soil area but seed it and then just go ahead or broadcast it and just go back through there as we're still right and kind of rough up around it again kind of halfway covered up a little bit and mother nature gives you some rain you'll have a beautiful plot so you're willing to do just a little bit of work with a rake and a little hand sprayer that you can take back there, yep. you can make that kill can, plot happen. You can make a plot just as beautiful as you can right out here in the middle of with a tiller or anything. Awesome. It, it, it work out just perfect. So check out that no sweat at antlerking.com. Guys, thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this, keep tuning back every week. We're going to be asking Robbie all the hard questions.